Body bags were horror lies. Hey guys, and welcome to week 216 here on Body Bags on your Tuesday review of 1993 horror freak reviews. And this week I'm reviewing the 2006 horror movie, well, of course a horror movie, but um, Two Fairy. So Two Fairy follows um, this little girl and her and her mother go and visit her, I believe it's sort of a boyfriend, ex-boyfriend. They're sort of not together, but you can sort of tell they, it's one of those situations. <laughs> and her, so they go visit him because he's just opened up, a, or pretty much, um, getting ready to open up a bed and breakfast. And while she's there, this little girl meets, starts make, meets this little this other little girl who tells her the story about the tooth fairy. And it turns out this tooth fairy um, will kill kids after they've lost the, their last baby tooth. And she tells her the story and she goes, just keep, the, keep your tooth in your mouth. And of course, um, Pamela loses the tooth and then the tooth fairy is pretty much out to get her last baby tooth and kill her. Since Pamela knows this, she's able to, I guess, keep the tooth sort of away from the tooth fairy, but this makes the tooth fairy pretty angry and now the tooth fairy is out killing other the people, people helping out set up the bed and breakfast. So it's up to her to convince her family that the tooth fairy is real and is about trying to kill her and, her and them. The thoughts on this film? Um, so, I thought I saw this when I was a bit younger, but I probably didn't see, maybe 2006, so I was 13 in 2006. Um, yeah, that's right, I graduated primary school in 2005. Yeah, so I was 13. And it's probably roughly, yeah. Um, and I used first saw this I love the film um it's something when my friends came over I used to stick it on and show them um you know it was sort of like it, it sort of kills in there a bit like bloody which is cool um but it wasn't full-on scary scary and but I used to love it and as a kid I would have given it not really a teenager I would have given it higher than what I have given it here and watching it I mean, there are flaws in this film. Um, some of the acting isn't that great, um, but in the end, you have to get props. It, I still enjoy watching it. At some point, I was a little bored, but it was good having this nostalgia with this film, like some horror films are. And I remember, like, first watching it, brought up those memories. But at the same time, the film is just a generic horror film. It brings something really new to the genre or anything, but, or, what does it say? It doesn't really add anything to the genre, but it's still a fun watch, and I think it is one that, if you've got kids that are 13 and that, want to watch a film with their friends, it is a good one to watch, because it's not too scary, where, if you've got some of them don't really watch horror and like, with every single scene, it's not too, not too scary, but at the end of the day, you 12, 13, that's the best time to watch horror films with your friends, especially with October coming. This is one to watch, um, especially if you're younger. I think being younger probably will be able to enjoy it more. Sort of <laughs> a bit older now, it's like, uh, it's not best shot film but at the end of the day I still like it but I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10 um, I, it would have been higher as a kid, younger but that's my rating for it now anyway um, comment down below if you have seen the two fairy and what you thought um, it is definitely worth checking out it's not that bad I've seen plenty of horror movies worse than this one anyway I'll see you next Tuesday with another review goodbye